Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you this bolt. It's the one on the bottom, not the one on the top. That one right there. That's uh, one of five bolts to take the alternator and power steering bracket off the front. Just wanted to show that to you. Just thought I'd show you guys this. That. I'm going to take that back coil off because that bolt that holds the coil packs onto the valve cover is impossible to get off. It's right up almost against the firewall and it's really hard to get a wrench in there. So I'm going to take the coil pack right off and that will give me a lot more room to get at that back bolt way at the back by the firewall. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that. So, I finally started working on the 2009 Chevy 1500. And I don't know what happened to my footage, but I did have footage of taking the alternator and power steering pump bracket off but for some reason I lost it anyway I just pulled the four bolts out of the front and there's one down the side uh, pulled them out and I just laid that against the rad fans for now um, right now I'm taking the bolts out that are holding the intake on there right now yeah there's eight millimeter bolts that go down through the intake I believe there's what was there one I think there's five on each side disconnected all the plugs for alternator all that stuff and I'm just getting ready to pull the intake off I already pulled the coil packs off those were just uh, 10 mil bolts that held them on pulled the plug wires out of the spark plugs and unplugged the plug going to them and just pop them off So here I'm just trying to get the right size tool to get the fuel line off the fuel rail there. I have about three different tools like this with different size for different size pipes. So I'm just trying to get the right one here. And finally I do. <coughs> I'm actually I'm grabbing a hammer right now just to uh, help persuade it on there a little bit. I don't think the guy that owned this truck before me ever had any of this apart. Um, that's why he wasn't sure if it needed a head gasket or if there was an actual something more majorly wrong with the truck. Like it needs an engine because the block is cracked. 
I'm keeping my fingers crossed, it's just the head gasket, but we're gonna find out here. I decided to pop the bolts out, right out that were holding the intake on because they were getting caught. So I'm just pulling them out there now. Just uh, unhooking the brake booster line right now. I'm grabbing my pinchers here. Just gonna pop that off of there and get it out of the way. Now I'm just getting ready to take the valve covers off here. And that is an 8 millimeter socket. I thought it was a 10, that's why I had to go back to me. So I'm zipping them off. I think there's four millimeter bolts on the top of the valve covers. So I'm just going to pop them off and Have a look underneath there and see what it looks like.
just to get the worst of this. I'm just shoving a little bit of paper towel in the holes there just so I don't get unnecessary dirt down inside the heads. Boy, it's hard to reach the back of that engine. So now I'm just using a brush just to loosen up the dirt that's still on top of the engine there. Just trying to get it all loosened up. And then I'll take the vacuum and vacuum it up. Yeah, there's a lot of crudding around those bolts. Now I'm just using a hammer just to tap the valve covers loose and get them up. It actually didn't look too bad under there. There was a little bit of uh, milky stuff from the engine coolant being in the oil. They can, they can look not too bad, they look not too bad, I'll clean them up. So thanks for watching. This was part one of the engine teardown. Uh, tomorrow I'll be pulling the heads off. And we'll actually see if the engine is going to be any good or not. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two.